Welcome to my channel, everyone. Coming at you guys today, friends, with a book review on a nonfiction book that is one of the most remarkable things I've ever read. A true story of perseverance, unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. A World War II story of survival, resilience, and redemption. This book is about a man named Louis Zamperini. Lewis grows up in California in the United States and he has somewhat of a troubled childhood, forms many bad habits, and in an attempt to break his bad habits at the encouragement of his brother Pete, he begins running. He begins training for the 1936 Olympics and he goes on to set a world record for the 5K run at the 1936 Olympics in Germany. Sounds great so far, right? It turns out that when the war takes off, Zamperini is taken in by the Army Air Corps of the United States, and he trains as a bombardier. He flies many missions with his crew, doing bombings, and it turns out that his plane that he's flying in uh, comes down with some mechanical problems and it's replaced by a plane that quickly crashes in the ocean. When Lewis's new plane, the Green Hornet, crashes in the ocean, eight of the 11 crew members die immediately and only three people survive the crash. Lewis, another man named Louis, and their friend Mac. They manage to get onto a rafting device and they go through hell on this rafting device. They have no food. They're trying to eat the occasional raw fish. There are sharks circling the raft. They're trying to drink blood from seagulls. It's really, really horrific what these men go through. And Mac ultimately dies after a few weeks at sea. 46 days go by of starvation and dehydration. They're even shot at by German warplanes and it punctures the raft and it really looks like they're not going to survive it. And 46 days later, they're captured by the Japanese army. What happens when they're captured is they're taken prisoner of war. In the story, you thought it was bad on the ocean when they almost didn't survive it. The prisoner of war camp is horrific as well. Lewis goes into the first of three war camps and there's a particular corrections officer, if you will. That's not the right term, but there is a demented, evil captain at this first POW camp that puts Zamperini through a lot. He tries to break his spirit. He beats him nearly to death on multiple occasions. They make the inmates there, the prisoners, hold heavy objects for very long periods of time. When they drop them, they beat them. They're going through starvation and dehydration, regular beatings and tests of endurance, of torture in this camp. And it's really something to read. It's really a testament to the human will to survive at all costs and against all odds in this book. I was just astounded at how much this man goes through. I couldn't even attempt to lay it all out in this review. It really is remarkable what Louis Zamperini survives in this book. And he goes on ultimately to survive three war camps and goes on after getting out to de his, dedicate his life to his religious belief and all of those kinds of things. And it really is not just an astounding tale of a man that was a talented runner, a world record setter that gets drafted into the war. Louis Zamperini is a true testament to the human spirit. And Laura Hildenbrand writes a remarkable story about his life in this book. I give this book a five-star review. It literally is one of the best biographies that I've ever read. Couldn't possibly 
recommend it anymore, and I ask you to please subscribe to me if you made it this far. See you later, friends.